As a lot of you know, I cut my hair over the weekend. I'll be I'll be completely honest. I don't I don't love it. I'm I'm learning to. You know, it has this this uh, kind of boyish uh, k poppy charm to it, that kind of vibe, and, and that's cool. Um, but I I, I um I kind of hate it. <laughs> I I just really loved my long hair. As I was getting it cut, I um. I, I wanted the whole process to stop um, several times. I really I really got attached to my long hair and and I I didn't I didn't know why um, at that moment but going about the rest of the day with this big chunk of my body like gone, uh, I think I I know why now. I put a lot of thought into this. The hair was very feminine hair, and that's why I hated to see it go away. It was long and, and, and luscious and, and luxurious, even. And I, I had I had women in my life that had told me on several occasions that they wish they had hair like mine. They had talked about it in the sense that they they wanted it, you know. And that that made me feel that made me feel really really happy. Felt really good about that. I like a lot of feminine things. I like makeup. Uh, I like heels. I like dresses. I'm very in touch with my emotions. Uh, I'm a very feminine person, is what I'm saying. Now, none of the things I mentioned before are exclusive to females, but you know, we as a Western society in general kind of just push female and femininity and, and women, you know, um, as as concepts onto these things, onto, you know, long hair, dresses, all that jazz. I'm also a very manly person. I like weightlifting and, and roughhousing and, and throwing things aggressively. <laughs> now, none of those things are exclusive to men, but, you know, again, you know what I'm saying. General Western society, all that jazz. It's my birthday today. 20 years ago today, I was born. I was born with a penis, born with testicles, born with high testosterone levels, I was born with XY chromosomes. I was born all intents and purposes a man. Or I guess a, a boy. <laughs> I was a boy, yeah. I'm a man now, Ma. I got pubic hair. And I smell bad. A male. I was born male. There we go. Words. Growing up, uh, you know, I, I, I liked a mix of a lot of things, you know, and I knew that I liked a mix of a lot of things. I know, for example, I like Star Wars. Love Star Wars. It's a big part of my life. And growing up, my favorite Star Wars movie was Return of the Jedi. For, for mainly one reason. I really liked Princess Leia in the Golden Bikini. Because I thought she was really, really pretty. I wanted to look like Princess Leia. I, I really idealized that body as a kid. But I, I, you know, I also knew as a kid that, like, that's not... <laughs> I don't get to wear that, you know? The, the closest I've gotten to that as a kid was joint birthday parties I had with my brother. We had a Power Ranger guy come over. He was dressed up as a Power Ranger and he painted, you know, masks on all the kids. And he gave us balloon swords. And for the, the female colored colored for the female color power rangers he gave them skirts for the pink and yellow ones and so you know i i asked the guy to paint me up as the pink power ranger you know i had a pink painted mask on and 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 uh, a pink balloon sword and a pink tutu that's the closest i got to as a kid uh fulfilling my princess leia dreams as an adult now I'll, I'll, one day i'll I'll, <laughs> I'll do it one halloween or something you know yeah but i also like star wars um, because of the blasting and the sword fights and the, the race speeders and all the fun stuff, the yahoos! That's not the right to be a That's more my own. It was all like, like, how does Han say it? Um, Yahoo! No, I can't. I can't get it in my head. It, it's still just Mari. God dang it! How does he? Maybe it's more just a who. Maybe it's like a who. That's still not good. <clears throat> Punch it, Chewie! I hate it. Stop it. Anyway, I wanted to. I wanted to be like Princess Leia. 
I also wanted to be like Luke. I, I like Luke a lot as a character. In, in Empire Strikes Back, he looks good. You know, he's, he's in a tank top for a lot of the film. He's got pretty big biceps. He's doing backflips and he's doing, he's climbing ropes and trees and he's jumping and he's doing all these very physical, masking looking things. And I really like that as well. I had my first kiss in third grade. It was with a dude. No, I didn't have a crush on this kid. At the time, I had a, I had a crush on a girl. But he was my first kiss because I was genuinely curious as to what the inside of his mouth felt like. I wanted to know what his tongue would feel like to my tongue. Just out of pure scientific inquiry, I guess. Uh, years later in high school, I came out as bisexual. A term that, at the time, made a lot of sense to me. I liked guy things, I liked girl things, I liked guy bodies, I liked girl bodies, you know? Um, and society told me if I was this fascinated in, in what a man's body looks like, and how it functions, and what it feels like, and, and all those things, <laughs> that means you're gay, you know? Um, <laughs> but I'm not gay, right? As a kid, I'm thinking I'm not gay. I also like women. You know, and for a long time, I, there, there weren't little terms that I knew of. I just knew they were gay and straight. Um, and then, you know, growing up, high school, learning more, bisexual came up. That seemed like a good term. Because I, I, I don't know, wasn't gay. But I guess I wasn't straight, you know. I think I made a mistake. I was so fast to put a label on this um, because that's that's what we do as a society, right? I, I was given a lot of labels as a kid. I was told, told you're a boy, you are Filipino, you are Catholic, you are American, you are a, a second grader, right? Um, you are short, you are blah, 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 you're all these things. And I think, I think the only label that um, out of all those still applies to me is being Filipino. Because being Filipino is freaking awesome. Oh, and and I'm short. That's entwined. Those two things go together. Unless you're lucky. And in that case, I don't know, man. Good for you. Sh shut up. When I came out as bisexual, the response from family, friends, and, and strangers even was, was mostly very, very positive. And I'm very grateful for that. I was very grateful to have grown up in... Um, that sort of community where that thing was was welcomed and it was a Catholic high school too and so I, I, I Sincerely am, am very very happy that, that it happened the way it did and because I was so happy with that, you know, I was content With this term bisexual for a time I am no longer content with the term bisexual. I think this mostly comes from the fact that sexual attraction Doesn't have a lot to do with it uh, I'm just very into human bodies. Guy, girl, short, tall, skinny, thick, muscular. I, I just I just really admire the human form. And I, I obsess about it. I obsess about my own, obsess about others. Uh, I obsess about, you know, manipulating and changing it. And, and not in a freaky, like, mad scientist kind of way. <laughs> Don't <laughs> misconstrue me. Um... It's just not in a not in a, not in a sexual way, you know. I just I I think everyone's I think everyone's pretty. I think everyone's hot, but not in a sexual. God, um, I think everyone's beautiful. There we go. I think all bodies are beautiful. That's that's the that's a word, right? So I don't think I'm bisexual. I also don't think I'm a man, or I guess I don't think I'm a male. We're figuring this out, <laughs> bear, bear with me. I thought I could chalk up all the things that were feminine about me to the fact that I like boys. But now I know that's not that's not really the case. Uh, I, I just really like wearing a dress and heels. I also like wearing a, a tank top like this, you know, show off the, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> that's, that's for me. <laughs> I only do that for me, <laughs> go to the mirror, and I say, good job, Moxel, and I, mm. <laughs> So what I'm saying is I'm changing my pronouns. That's what I'm getting to. I I'm, I'm changing my pronouns.
Right now, if you look in the bio section, it should say he, them. I might change that tomorrow or in a week. I'm, I might delete this video tomorrow. Who knows? I'm not, I'm not making this big announcement because I want, you know, attention from it. Uh, um, most people aren't going to watch the whole way through anyway. I, I don't want to be self-indulgent. That's, that's not the point in all of this. I'm trying to be honest. That's what I'm doing. I'm giving honesty, mostly to myself, mostly for myself. I, I need to say it out loud in, in sort of a public space where other people can hear it so that I, I'm more inclined, you know, to, to really, to be sure about this. Um, and, I, I don't, and I'm okay with not being sure. Let me be clear. I'm going to backtrack. I use a similar strategy for other things in my life. You know, I tell my friends, my work at routine, so that I'm more inclined to keep with it. Uh, and to, you know, to be more proud of my body, you know, uh, to talk about it more. I tell my family what and how I'm going to be eating for the next couple months. So they know how they can help me with my, my protein intake or, oh, there it is. I did it. I did it. You're happy? I did it. Hmm. I'm saying this in front of a camera for anyone to see. So that I can work on being myself. That's all this is. You know, knowing who I am. Because I really need to know who I am. I'm in an acting class right now. And one of the biggest takeaways has been that you need to know who you are. So you know how you can sell yourself, how you can market yourself, so you can get cast in the roles that you are made for. I'm taking that and I'm trying to apply it to my life on a bigger scale right now. I'm trying to learn who I am so I can tell other people who I am. So so the people in my life can, can know me, like really know me and, and welcome me. Or not welcome me, I guess. I, I guess that's important too. <laughs> ah, what am I saying? I'm saying... I'm saying it's my birthday today. That's what I'm saying. I'm another year still growing. I'm another year still changing. Still living. I'm still living. That's what it is. I'm living right now. I'm trying trying to live. And I, I don't think I can do that completely without an honest attempt to, to know who I am in this current moment. Hi, I'm Max Lorenzo. I'm queer. That's the term I'm going for. I'm sticking with that. I'm sticking with that one. Again, who knows for how long? If life was a wardrobe, you are free to change your coat. Is that an Uncle Iroh quote? Don't think so. I don't think it's a quote at all. I'm changing my coat. You know, I, I'm... I'm I'm picking a new way to, to express myself and, and the way that I'm feeling and, you know, who I am inside. And, you know, I, might, I probably won't look very different because I don't like putting a lot of effort in <laughs> my physical appearance on a daily basis. The things you see on Instagram are when I'm trying the most. And sometimes that's just a shirt and jeans. <laughs> so I might not look the way you, you expect you know, uh, uh, a, a, a <laughs> users, I kind of an expectation, I guess, for someone to come out and then they're, I don't know, always in makeup or they dyed their hair or they, you know, we're, they're wearing a dress now. And, and, you know, I'm going to do all those things probably, you know, at some time in my life, I'm also going to take it off at one point. Thank you for watching. <laughs>
I hope I can see you too very soon.